Now, Super Falcons coach Thomas Denabi has included captain Zayok Maranose on the Ebi and Aziza Toshuala in his provisional squad for the FIFA Women's World Cup uh, final slated for France. Now, also on the list of 27 players are goalkeeper Tochuko Luehi, Joseph, uh, Josephine Chukunoye, Osinachi Ohale, and Ngozi Ebere are the defenders. Midfielders include Rita Chikuelo, Halimatsu Ainde, and forward Francesca Odega. Now, only 23 players will make the final cuts for the global tourney, as four players will be dropped during a two-week campaign in Austria. The Nigeria Football Federation has made public the final list of players that will represent the country at the FIFA on the 20 World Cup later this month. Bomot starlet Namdi Ofobo and Manchester City player Tom Dele Bashiru made the court. The squad has three goalkeepers, six defenders, seven midfielders and five strikers. Poel Ayegbogu led side have um, been drawn in Group D and will do battle with the United States, Ukraine and Qatar at the World Cup in Poland. The Prudent Energy Handball Premier League kicks off today at the indoor sports hall of the National Stadium in Abuja. The women will set the pace for the day as Imo Grasshoppers of Oweri will face the Owen Queens of Akure, while Edo Dynamos and ben of Benin will slog it out with defending champions uh, Plateau Peacocks of Jaws. Safety Babes of uh, FRC will uh, take on uh, Desert Queens of Castina. In the men's category, it is a battle of the north as Kada Stars of Kaduna will take on a bonus Spiders of Meduguri. The first phase of the Prudent Energy Handball uh, Premier League will run through till the 25th of May 2019. Now joining us is uh, the media officer of the Nigeria Handball Federation, uh, Chukwemeka Cosmos. Uh, Chukwemeka, uh, good morning. Now, the Hambo League is played uh, in phases, one in Abuja, the other in Lagos. Can you explain how this works and how to determine the final winner at the end of the year? Well, preparations are on the way at the Atletico Madrid's uh, Wanda Metropolitano Stadium, which will host the All-African uh, Champions League final on uh, June the 1st between Liverpool and uh, Tottenham. Now, stadium manager Fernando Ariza believes uh, English fans will create a fantastic atmosphere at a very functional and comfortable venue, which will... Uh, present one of the best finals in years. Both clubs have been allocated only 16,613 tickets for the final uh, in the 68,000 seat uh, Wanda Metropolitano Stadium. Supporters of both teams have complained about the eye-watering costs of traveling to Madrid for the June the 1st showdown. Stadium is uh, very, very functional and very comfortable for all the spectators. The visibility of the pitch is uh, quite good in all in all the in all the seats. So I think they will like and they will create a fantastic atmosphere also because of the roof of the stadium. So I think it would be one of the best uh, finals in, in the last years. Now mixed reactions have greeted the decision of the World Athletics body, the IAAF, to cancel the result of all track events of the 2018 African Senior Athletics Championship held in Asaba. The result of only three events, the World Race, Shot Put and Pole Vote, have been uh, ratified by the IAAF. The World Athletics body says it will not recognize uh, the results because the racetracks and most of the equipment used at the African Championship did not comply with its specification. Following the pronouncement, the Confederation of African Athletics, the CAA, which approved the staging of the competition, has formally apologized to members, uh, member federation for the decision. This means that apart from the three events named by the IAAF, the rest are void. CAA, they came uh, on two occasions to check the equipment, uh, okay them, check everything we put on ground for the tournament, and for the event, it was okay. And uh, for them to accept that they, they, they only accept uh, short put and, and, uh, and pole vault in the field event, 
I think the same device used to measure the uh, shot put is used for javelin, used for discus. So I think uh, we need to probably find out the reasons. They may have uh, something that we don't know. The only sad thing is that athletes that are posted time that, that, that could have qualified them for the World Championship coming up this year would have, I mean, lost out. But the issue of the, the championship was was great. Uh, Sabas in code, the higher president was here. So they saw this on the floor. They didn't want to see anything. Months later, they announced it that all um, the, the whole event in Azaba would not count because the track was not satisfied. The other countries, at least nowhere on ground, they, are, they were ready not to go. Um, um, South Africa, Botswana, Algeria, Tunisia, they were already on ground, the athletes. I did expect IAF not to announce that there would be no meet. You know, so as Africa, we wanted to do it in an African way. Now away from the intensity of sports competition, world champion Mercedes has sent one of their Formula One cars to the home of a terminally ill child who Lewis Hamilton described as uh, his uh, Spanish Grand Prix victory inspiration. Five-year-old Harry Shaw, who has a rare form of bone cancer, uh, sent Hamilton a good luck message uh, on race day morning ahead of the five-time champion's win in Barcelona on Sunday. And on Monday, Mercedes uh, dispatched their car to the Shaw family home. Now Hamilton, uh, who won his third race of the season in Spain, described the message from Harry as his spirit and inspiration. Harry's father says uh, the gesture from Mercedes is a big boost and have a big, have put a big smile at a Spain. tremendously Lewis difficult Hamilton time in their lives.